Adobe Illustrator, how to make 3D text. Good day, folks. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how you can actually take your text and make it 3D. I'm going to show you all the properties that you can change within that 3D text to really make it your own. So let us dive straight in. The first thing you need to do is have a clean and blank canvas and you're going to need some text. So what we're going to do on the left hand side, so we're going to go over to the toolbar and you can see that there is a text icon and it looks like this. Now we can right click and there is a type tool, a type on a path tool, and then a vertical type tool. Really, you can choose any one of these. We're going to go ahead and tap on the type tool. And over here, now, if you are clicking down, you will actually have just a single little text box where you can enter a title in or so forth. If you click down and you drag, you will actually have where you can enter in a paragraph within this text box. So we're going to just remove that for the moment. On the left hand side, again, we're going to select our select tool that looks like the little arrow. And we're going to now select our text. We're going to click down and we're going to drag it over to the middle of our canvas. So we can really have a look at what we can do with this. So the first thing we're going to do is right click on this text. And again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for create outlines. Now, this just enhances that 3D effect. So once you've tapped on create outlines, you can go over now to the right hand side and we can start defining what our text actually looks like. So you'll find in this toolbar under properties all the way down at the bottom, you'll have appearance. So you'll have your fill and you can now color it whatever color you'd like. Let's say we want to make it yellow and then we have a stroke and this is basically like an outline of your text. So let's say we want to make it pink and we can see that there's a value in over here on the right hand side it says one point. You can now have the drop down menu and you can choose as to how you would actually like it to look. That's now two points and you can see that it is a little bit thicker. You can also tap on the actual box where the value is in and you can actually type in your individual value. Having a look now at the text, we can keep it selected on the toolbar on the top of your screen. You'll have file, edit, object, type, select, effect, view, window and the help. We're now looking for effect and we're going to go in there and you'll find something under the Illustrator effects 3D and materials. So. While we are selecting our text, we can go in here and there are a bunch of options. We have the extrude and bevel, revolve, inflate, rotate, materials. And this is basically your presets or your templates for your 3D text. You also have the 3D classic, which has the extrude and bevel classic, the revolve classic and the rotate classic. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to choose the extrude and bevel which is now within your latest update you can see now that it immediately applies a preset and it gives you a toolbar on the right hand side so we can just move this toolbar sort of out of the way here and now we can start defining all the properties of our 3d text so the first thing over here it's on object and you can see over here there's a 3d type and we can change what that 3d type actually looks like so you can see that there's plane extrude revolve inflate and basically every one that you click on it will take a few seconds just to render it so you can go ahead now and continue to define the depth the twist the taper and then also the cap of your text so as you go along, you can see that the depth looks like this. The twist looks like this. And then the taper looks like this. You can also now change the cap. As you can see over here, it actually removes the inside. So it's basically the text or each letter is like an empty tube. You can also change the bevel so you can allow those options to become available and now you can change the width as you change it over here that's what that looks like you can also change the height as well as the repeat and the space and then you can bevel the inside and then you can also bevel both sides if you're unhappy with the changes you've made you can go ahead and tap on reset it'll change everything back to its original template settings 
We can also see over here that there are some additional rotation options over here. So you have some presets. You can go ahead and you can choose whatever preset that you would prefer over here. So for example, the isometric right, you can see that's what that looks like. And you can now customize all of those axes, just like the X, Y, and Z over here. It'll change different elements of your text. So the X will change that. The Y will do that. And then the Z will do that. Again, you have perspective. You can change what that perspective looks like. And basically, you can fully customize your 3D text to make it look exactly the way you'd like. We also have materials up over here on the top of the bar. You can change your graphic. And uh, there's a couple other settings over here. You can change the base properties, such as the roughness and the metallic sort of um, appearance of the text and then you have your lighting where you can basically change what the lighting actually looks like on your text so this graph at the top over here you're allowed to sort of change where the lighting is actually coming from and you can see appropriately that it's actually changing your text you can also change the lighting color over here as well as the intensity the rotation the height the softness and you have the ambient light and you can change that intensity right over there really you can pretty much change everything about your text once you have made it 3d text and once you're happy with that you can go ahead over to the top of your toolbar again you're going to tap on file we're going to come down and look for the save options which is either save save as and save a copy you can go ahead and you can click on any one of those you can now save this to your cloud or you can save it to the device that you're working on i hope you enjoyed this video it was a quick and easy step-by-step -step guide to create 3d text and completely redefine what your text looks like i'll see you in another video thanks for watching cheerio